Here's a seven tube setup. T304 stainless steel tubes and tap water in a pasta jar and the outside tubes. If you have one circle in the middle, you can perfectly fit six around it, meaning all outside tubes are touching just by giving one common connection. And so the outside tubes I have um, positive and then on the inside tubes I have uh, negative hooked up and the outside tubes are connect or the inside tubes are connected negative and are touching each other with that copper wire you can see kind of wrapped around those. Um, which the copper actually looks black because I don't know, it's absorbing something. But and then down at the very bottom, you can see that um, the lo the middle tubes are longer and so are sticking out a little bit. That way, there's space for water to get up in there and get sucked up into the tube while it's producing the gas. Uh, the power supply is this um, variable AC um, transformer right here, and um, 150 volts, 5 amps. The output of that when it's turned on is coming out this cord, going through that power cord, which I cut off at the end, and I just connected it to a, a bridge here. And so the positive on the bridge is going into this um, cord here, which goes into this amp meter. And uh, the output from the amp meter is going to the um, positive which eventually comes right here and just clips onto that band that I have um, wrapped around those tubes. And the um, negative is just clipped there at the top, right there. And so um, I'm going to measure the volts, and you can see that the voltage right here is 1.343 volts, dropping a little bit, I had it on for a second. And so even if you take these tubes out, once you're conditioned, and drain the water, put them back into the uh, water, and measure the voltage without doing anything, it'll automatically have a voltage. And so the conditioning process gives an inherent negative potential to the negative tube and a positive potential to the positive tubes, a low and a high. And so anyway, I'll go ahead and turn it on, and uh, you can see what's going on here. Um, it's all seven tubes connected and being um, conditioned and right now it's reading this is a uh, it's on a 10 amp scale but it's halved and so that's 2 amps at 4.74 volts and you know that is really what's leaving the power supply because if I turn it off volts starts going down the amps off and that's uh, no more gas production and so you can see when I turn it on amps just went up and the voltage is climbing and so uh, that's less than 5 volts times 2 amps so that's less than 10 watts to do this so you can go to energeticforum.com forward slash renewable dash energy and I posted the schematics in energeticforum.com forward slash energy and if you want to see all the other details on that you can go in there because I'm posting stuff almost every day.